Okay, so we are ready to start our color theory exercises. Um, I have a piece of good paper, Strathmore 400 series drawing paper, and I have gridded it out, a two inch border all the way around, and then two inches um, across and one inch is high, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grids, one inch space in between. I've labeled the top yellow, the bottom red, blue, red, blue, yellow. So I'm gonna work with primaries and I am going to create um, a range. So a couple of things before we start. Here are your chalk pastels. Your, I call them chalk pastels. They're soft pastels. Um, mine are a little dirty. Yours are going to be cleaner right out of the box. You're going to want these, obviously, and then immediately we're going to take get rid of the black. We're not using that this week. And then you're going to want a piece of paper nearby. I'm going to show you what you're going to want that for. And I like to have some cotton or cotton swabs. Uh, paper towel is okay, too and a clean cloth of some sort to, to clean your hands. This is a kind of a messy process. Um, it's easy to clean up, but it does make a mess. So we are going to start by putting pure hue in the box closest to the top where it's labeled yellow. And then you see if you Cover the space completely. You can blend in a little bit with a tissue to get even coverage, or uh, in this case, a piece of cotton. And keep this yellow cotton handy. And then when you wanna get rid of the dust, that's what you need your scrap paper for. Just tape it, take it and tap it on another piece of paper to get rid of the dust. You don't wanna blow it. Um, because you do want to fold this paper up and throw it away um, or you can use you can use the pigment as well if you keep it separate but you don't want to breathe it so you don't want to be blowing it you don't want to be smudging it um, and you don't want to be like letting it go everywhere either so the next box I'm gonna do the first three boxes in yellow maybe the next two not quite as heavily and then we're gonna transition to red so your um, pastels have several reds. It's really up to you to choose which one and you'll remember or you can make a little note of it. This is more of a, a cool red, a bluer red, and this is more of a yellowy red. So let's try this. It's actually, I think this is more of a truer red. So let's put the red down here. And then we're gonna blend that up too, just a little bit less. Now, I know from experience that yellow is a little less powerful than the red. So I'm going to put on the red a little heavy. I mean the yellow a little heavier. So your pastels do get dirty, but you can kind of smudge away the dirty part. Yeah, maybe not. Um, so what you're gonna make here is a combination of both the yellow and red. So when your pastel gets dirty, you can clean it on a cloth. Because you want it for smudging, you want to use the side of the pastel. So we're going to do we're going to take some of that red up here and then we're going to blend and add until we have an even gradation. From, yeah, from red through orange and then we want a little bit more red down here through orange all the way back all the way up to yellow to pure yellow and we're gonna do this with all our primaries. So I'm gonna do that next with a little time lapse. 